Today on Parker's Reefs, part nine of our Melbourne local fish store tour. This one's my local fish store, Deer Park Aquarium. All right, so here we are. This store is about 55 minutes from my house. So when I say it's my local fish store, it doesn't necessarily mean it's the closest to me, but it's uh, the one I always go to. And that's because I always get uh, the best quality stock and uh, most importantly, the best advice. So we're in the front room now, which is Dave's, um, the owner here is, he's a part way through his renovations of the store and this is gonna be the dry room. So you can see, um, we've got a couple of tanks there on display, some reactors, we've got uh, some breeder boxes, uh, some test kits, some magnet cleaners, heaters, you got your frozen food. They've also got a handy little drink fridge there, which is only a dollar a can, which is real handy. Um, you've got all your supplements from uh, Coral Essentials, Aqua Forest, um, you got your Dr. Tim's bacterial products, um, some air uh, pumps there, battery powered ones. You got some T5 lights behind the counter there, KH Guardian, a uh, Aqua Forest with a really nice picture of a tank on there. Hint, hint, that one's mine. All right, let's get into the uh, wet room where all the magic really happens. So you can see we've got all the uh, fish tanks and coral tanks back here. So we'll go through the fish first. And you can see we've got a beautiful uh, Midas Blenny up in there, powder blue, looks like a um, rabbit fish there plus some anthias, that Midas Blenny, um, looks like a real character, a fox face in there too. Got a sailfin, a powder blue, um, cleaner ass there, looks like some gold striped maroons. Um, pretty cool uh, clownfish pair to be honest, and that powder blue looks uh, real real healthy too, which is always nice to see. Um, we got some decora gobies, fire gobies, um, for those who like the difference between those, they look much the same to me, but I am colorblind. Uh, we've got some nice uh, little damsels there, so just some cheap filler fish, and uh, here's a beautiful pair of mature um, clowns. I think these ones are snowflakes, I could be wrong on that. Um, all right, what do we got here? Come some damsels, domino damsels, I can't remember what that guy's called, maybe a Talbot's damsel. Pretty colored fish nonetheless. Uh, what do we got there? Tomato clown, some more gobies of various types. Let's scoot over this side where there's some uh, different fish. We've got a, um, a nice eel in there hiding. Um, when I saw them feeding before, he wasn't hiding. He was pretty aggressive, that guy. And uh, what do we got up here? This, uh, I can't remember the name of the rust. We'll see it in a second, but uh, he's a stunner. Such vibrant colors. Um, I love the way he just flicks that top, um, that top fin around, just catches the eye. It's got a bright purple stripe on there. Um, incredible fish. Looks like uh, it's a uh, Temaniki wrasse. Can't say I've heard of it before, but uh, I definitely have now. It's a stunner. All right, what do we got in here? There's a cool uh, little predator fish. He could be. Uh, I'm going to show my uh, ignorance here. It could be a stone or a frog. There's a um, there's a uh, lionfish hiding behind the fun uh, the sponge filter there. There's a Klein's butterfly and a um, red sea sailfin. Um, you'll see on the tank there that uh, because the red sea um, sailfins are. Uh, prone to have um, disease issues. The guys here at Deer Park have done a huge job. They've done a 20-day uh, tank transfer method plus a 60-day quarantine on this fish. Um, shows the level of uh, care they give here, really, um, just to make sure that you're taking home happy and healthy fish. And this is the only place I buy fish from. And um, full disclosure, I don't quarantine fish. Um, I know Dave's only going to sell me fish that are uh, healthy, and um, it takes that stress away from me. So... It's an incredible service that uh, just makes this hobby so much easier. There's some unique fish there. Um, I can't remember what they're called now. I'm sorry. I think were they, they're not snapper, are they? Um, they're fish that people often catch to eat. <laughs> you don't normally see them in the um, aquarium trade. You get your uh, common blue-green chromis there. Under here is this really stunning little guy. It's a shame he's not out. It's a painted crayfish. Um, beautiful blue and white stripes on him. All right, we've got a uh, Picasso pair of clowns in there, some more blue-green chromis. Um, I believe these Picassos are uh, captive bred locally in Melbourne, which is um, nice to see. Here's one of them just uh, freaking out a little bit. I believe he only just went in the tank a second ago. Um, there's a real cool little dude. Uh, was he a sand percher? Um, yeah, he's moving away from the camera, unfortunately, but he's pretty cool. There's your uh, basic Oki clowns. Looks like a, um, a cowrie snail in there as well. A giant um, hermit. He's a beast. I'd love to put him in my predator tank, but um, I'm afraid he's it's probably a bit too big for my uh, Pico predator. He'd, he'd have trouble getting around with a um, shell that big. We've got some uh, live rock down in here and a giant marbled starfish. Um, you'd want to have a big tank for him. I reckon my uh, 
my triggers and stuff, I'd have a good feed on him, so I'd best leave him there. We got um, some yellow assessors who just love to swim upside down. Strange guys. I'll try and get the camera to focus, but uh, they're just always doing that. I don't know why yellow assessors do that. They're strange fish. There's some domino damsels, six line wrasse, uh, looks like Valentini puffers, beautiful rusty angel, I think that one is. Um, yeah, nice, nice fish. Wouldn't play nicely with my other angels, but um, he's got, uh, yeah, some cool markings and colouring to him. All right, what do we get over here? Uh, uh, domino clowns and strawberry dotty backs. We've got packs um, there of keto. Um, looks like a uh, nice fox face here who's showing us his, his um, spines and a um, six line wrasse that's desperate to go give him a clean. I do like those um, those fox face with the uh, black and yellow one. They've got such a uh, distinctive distinctive colorings and markings, I guess. Um, what do we got here? A pair of platinum clowns. These ones also have been bred locally in Melbourne. Uh, they're, they're a stunning pair. It's still quite juvenile, but um, made it up nicely. And yeah, just the way their fins are jet black, but the body is um, pure white. Just yeah, really cool with a little bit of orange around the face. All right, so that's pretty much all the um, fish. We'll do a bit of a uh, pan through the um, coral tanks. Uh, you can see along the front here, we've got these uh, Cade Bicos. Uh, we were just setting up for uh, frag stocks, so um, we've got uh, some frags here that are not normally stocked by the shop, but uh, some of these that didn't sell on the night did um, get purchased by Dave at the end of the night, so some of these are still available, but uh, you can see the sort of sample of uh, frags we've got in there, some nice uh, Zoas, some beautiful tricolor acros, there's some uh, nice uh, forest fire digi, some red caps, some other nice uh, bonsai, looks like purple bonsai. Uh, over here, we got um, some clams and some rock flowers. Uh, we got some uh, nice pokey in there, some uh, Montipora, some beautiful uh, bright orange morphs. Looks like some uh, other nice acros, a really cool, uh, I'm forgetting what the name of that green Monty is there. It's not the cap, but it's um, something else, quite nice. You see the color of some of these um, rock flowers here. They're a um, yeah, pretty fancy bit of gear. And again, these were all part of the uh, frag stock that was held in Melbourne on the night. But, um, well, those clams aren't. They're uh, Australian bred clams that are uh, available at Dave's store. And uh, here's some of my frags that uh, are usually available at um, Deer Park. Still are now. We've got um, some Dallas, some Pink Bird's Nest, some Toxic Green Bird's Nest, some uh, various Pokies, some uh, Rainbow Monty frags there, which, um, yeah, I was selling at 10 bucks. Everyone else seems to be... Uh, Charging a bit more for those these days, but um, here's an incredible assortment of zoas. Um, some beautiful Skittles morphs. Really nice pieces there. And uh, let's come around the corner now and check out uh, Dave's regular stock. We've got some uh, more frags here. These are some of the ones that um, I keep supplied in. Again, it's a frag night, so we have a lot of frags. But um, let's see what else there is. Yeah, there's some of my zoas and some pokey and uh, pink fireworks. Let's have a look in here because this is Recordia Heaven. Um, we've got ricks in here as um, fairly as variety as they come. Um, there's oranges, reds, greens. There was a yellow that sold. Um, you can see we've got some nice deshi down there, big tracky. That um, deshi there that's listed is not quite right. It looks very right to me. Um, and some other ultra deshis there, which um, surprisingly Dave's had on the shelf there for a little while. I'm surprised they haven't sold. Every time I look at them, it gets closer and closer to coming home with me. But um, not yet. We got some nice um, jealous up there. Uh, what else we got? Zoa rocks. Some nice varieties of uh, different hammers. You can build an instant hammer garden. Looks like some some Thomas morphs there. A Rhodactus rock. Uh, some other varied pieces. Looks like uh, I'm not sure what that one on the bottom left was. In here we got the uh, twenty five dollar frag section. So we got a bunch of uh, Melbourne grown um, acro frags there, pokies, and a whole swarm of uh, zoas from all across Australia. Um, some of these come from WA, uh, some from Queensland, some from Melbourne. A uh, good variety there, whether you want um, some that are a little bit more fancy for one or two polyps, or you're looking for a, a whole bunch of those for almost a dollar a polyp, the uh, $25 section of the tank will have you covered. All right, what do we got in here? Uh, got some different types of zoas, looks like some Cynarias, some Lobos. Uh, down here we got some more sort of standard trachophilias. If your ultra is a bit out of your price range, looks like some nice little helio fungies. Uh, here we got uh, more trachophilia, Duncan, a uh, beautiful purple uh, gigante anemone. Here 
Yeah, more Lobo, more Trackies. Uh, we got some uh, beautiful Frosted Rose bubble tipping enemies in here. Kind of hard to see with the flow, but uh, you just have to take my word that they're um, something special. I'll try and put another footage um, over the video here so you can check them out. And we'll come around now to the uh, final bay, although we're going to see this side of the middle bay yet. There's still more coral to come, despite Dave saying that he didn't have much stock. Um, there's quite a lot of stock here. <laughs> you just got to, um, when you actually video it like this and you go through everything, you can see how much there is. So we've got some uh, different silver tiles there, some hammers with crazy extension. Uh, that's a strange looking Montipora there. We've got some Duncans, more Lobos, uh, Favias. And now we're starting on the final bay. We've got some uh, nice uh, Aussie supplied Abrolos um, corals up here. Some of their uh, beautifully colored Zoas and SBS frags. Um, WA are known for having super hairy acro. And um, these ones literally just came out of the box. So they're still acclimating in. But um, an hour or two later and uh, you could barely see the skeleton because they were that furry. Which I don't know about you. That's pretty rare for um, SPS. Um, you don't see that very often. And uh, here we are, another $25 tank. You can take your pick between um, frags, um, frags or semi-colonies, and then down the bottom you've got um, actual colonies for $25. Some of these ones obviously aren't your uh, ultra colors, but um, it's pretty hard to go past a um, Acro colony for $25. Um, I'm sure our American viewers would be almost shedding a tear over that. And in uh, this tank here, we've got some uh, Aussie clams at $120 a piece. They're good sized clams too. They're not um, the ones that we're talking uh, thumb size. They're a, they're a good a good palm size. Um, and it looks like we've got some uh, nice lobos down the bottom there. Some, uh, what is that one there? It's a war coral, I think, with a beautiful splash through it. Um, purple, red, and green. And a stunning chalice there. Um, that's uh, got some real color to it. I wouldn't say it's green and red. It's more teal and red. Uh, very nice pieces. And that's pretty well our um, wet room. So um, I'll just bring you back out the front. I'm going to have a look at this tank here that's um, absolutely stunning piece of gear. There's a um, nice uh, Alu Magic Blaze in there, a couple of different T5s and a Pac Sun T5. But uh, this huge tank here is one that's uh, been built for a customer. It's a custom made Cade unit. And uh, just before we finish, I want to show you this uh, wicked little uh, SBS Pico that um, Dave has on the counter here. This thing um, doesn't have the best of anything. It doesn't even have a wave maker. It's got a um, trickle filter on the back and a prime. Nothing wrong with the prime, but uh, there's very little flow. It gets very little attention, and uh, it's difficult to pick up on camera. I'm trying to uh, show, but some of the colors on these uh, SPS, which granted are still just settling in, but uh, quite stunning, and it's kind of breaking the rules as to uh, what you need to make um, SPS thrive. So... I'm keen to watch this tank grow out and see, you see a nice little red dragon frag there um, and some uh, red caps and beautiful green and purple pieces there. But um, yeah, that's Deer Park. That's uh, my local fish store. The guys there are always uh, super friendly, always give huge amount of advice and have um, never steered me in the wrong direction. So uh, big tip of the cap to um, Dave, Mark and Deb that work at Deer Park. Um, I really appreciate everything you do. So um, yeah, thanks for watching guys. Cheers. Bye.